now it's day two of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's testimony against his predecessor Jacob Zuma. Ramaphosa continues to make explosive revelations. In the latest, he told Corruption Inquiry Committee that the ruling African National Congress was blindsided and that the government failed to detect corruption on time. Appearing before the Zondo Commission, Ramaphosa said that law enforcement agencies will have to be rebuilt. He added that graft had weakened South Africa's spy agency and that state institutions were weakened to limit their ability to crack down on corruption. The president had earlier admitted that there was rampant corruption when he served as a vice president under Zuma. Stakes are high for Ramaphosa while he is being lauded for testifying against Zuma. His role as Zuma's deputy is also being questioned. Many say that he failed to curb corruption when he was the vice president. Zuma was South Africa's president from 2009 to 2018 and Ramaphosa served as Zuma's deputy from 2014 to 2018. Zuma was once one of South Africa's most celebrated leaders, but his presidency was marred by corruption scandals. He has been accused of favoring a private firm and lobbying for the same as well. Earlier this year, in his first appearance before the committee, Ramaphosa said that the ANC was split over the probe. However, he fell short of holding Zuma directly accountable. But things have changed now. The testimony happened in the aftermath of the July riots, which sparked which was sparked by Zuma's jailing and his supporters. The former president was jailed for contempt of court after he declined to testify before the same probe committee. Zuma's supporters then went on a rampage across South Africa and the situation soon turned into a larger unrest, leaving more than 330 people dead. The South African economy incurred losses amounting to more than $3 billion. More than 25,000 troops were deployed to quell the violence, but the damage was already done and the government faced heavy criticism for its handling of the riots. Our correspondent Calden Ongmu brings us this ground report from Johannesburg. Take a look. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa will wrap up his two days testimony at the state capture inquiry on Thursday. Ramaphosa appeared before the inquiry in his capacity as the current ANC president and the former deputy president of the party and on Thursday gave evidence and was questioned in his capacity as the current president and former deputy president of the country. Ramaphosa admitted that the ruling party ANC's factionalism led to the weakening of state institutions. He said he only became aware of corruption and much of what was happening when the public did. He claims the party was blindsided by the fact that the Guptas were friends with the leader of the party. Ramaphosa reiterated that he did not resign as Zuma's deputy at that time because he wanted to resist state capture. The president confirmed, the president also confirmed that he believes state capture exists as a well-organized project that influenced policy and legal processes and those involved in it were protected. Ramaphosa said his government wants to bring changes and inject confidence in the public, but this will take time. This is Kaldan Almu from Johannesburg, South Africa, for We On World Is One. We On World Is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.